repair to dock. Cruising speed, Captain. First of all, Jim, let me say that the Admiralty is impressed with your actions and the way you stepped up to take charge in recovering the damaged fleet. A lot of brave individuals owe you their lives. Congratulations, your field promotion has been approved. You are now officially promoted to captain and have been assigned this cutter. She's got more cannons and armor than the war sloop. Thank you, sir. But it was my crew who did the work. Yes, yes, I passed on your request for commendations for your crew. But remember this. A crew is only as good as their captain. Now, on to your next mission. Most of the fleet is on the frontier trying to hunt down these so-called ironclad raiders. So, we'll need you to be twice as vigilant in protecting the home sectors. I need you to patrol the islands and visit the stations and towns in this area. The Quartermaster has supplies that must be delivered to Alamein. So, make that your first port of call. Understood, sir. I'll go prepare my crew. Very well, Captain Hawkins. A good voyage to you. Dismissed.
cruising, Captain. Vessel spotted, sir! Stop, Captain. There's something up ahead. A lot of boats. They look like fishing vessels. Hmm. It looks like a blockade. I wonder what they're doing. Wait. They're moving off now. They must have seen our flags. Setting course. Supplies. We need them more than ever with the blockade in force. Yes, Mayor. I, I spotted those fishing vessels in front of your harbor. What's going on? Boats from the neighboring island of Alsrand have started plundering our moonfish stocks. When we objected, they used their larger fishing fleet to blockade our harbor. Our fishermen have to stay docked while they take the fish that have fed our village for generations. They are Imperial citizens, as are you. You're all protected by law and the Royal Navy. Come with us. We'll sort this out. Go ahead, holding. Changing heading now.
losing, Captain. Spotted, sir. Setting course. That's a spotted, sir. They are fishing our territory. Attention, Alzrandian fishing fleet. We're heading to Alzrand on official Navy business. This is an illegal blockade. Make way. <laughs> or what? Gunners, load practice charges. Prepare to fire a warning shot across their bow.
That was your only warning. In the name of Her Majesty the Queen, disband this blockade or you will face charges. <laughs> Very well, but there is more to this than they're telling you. Spotted, sir. Thank you for meeting with us, Mayor Krell. With your warships in my harbor, I could hardly refuse. As to what has happened, a few weeks ago, pirates began marauding our traditional fishing areas south of here. We had no choice but to move our fishing fleets north. But when we tried to explain our problem to the Alamein fishing boats, they ignored us and tried to cut our nets. Is this true? They were in our fishing grounds. You might at least have listened. I'll deal with the pirates, but in the meantime, your fleets will share the northern fishing areas. Is this clear? Yes. Yes, sir.
engines at full, sir! Setting course. Pirate spotted, sir! There's the pirate base. All hands to battle stations! There are pirate vessels in the area. We must not get caught between them and the base cannons. On my target! Fire! Pirates are surrendering! Without ships, they won't be able to get off this island before Waystation Grant sends a prison barge for them. Speaking of bases, sir, this one seems much larger than it needs to be. If it's only here to service the pirate fleet we just fought. 
I noticed that too, Mr. Onyx. And they were using powerful lancers. I didn't think pirates had that kind of weapons technology. I thought only the Procyons have been able to make lancers more powerful than the light ones our navy uses. Very strange. I'll have to make a report to the Admiralty about this. In the meantime, we have a patrol to finish. Set course for the Tabrak Islands. All emergency power engaged. Stopping. Sir. Move to cruising speed, aye.
message rocket ahead. Changing course to retrieve it. SOS from the RLS Valiant. They've been escorting the Procyon diplomatic fleet on its way to the peace treaty signing. What does the message say? It's hard to decipher. The rocket's been badly damaged by weapons fire. Uh, under attack, uh, silver, uh, pirates, uh, the Procyons are... Sorry, sir. That's all I can make out. It's enough. Battle stations! Full emergency speed! Setting course. the Valiant. She's hurt badly, but we might be able to save them. All gunners, prepare to engage pirate vessels! Seeing any lifeboats, sir. The pirates are turning back the way they came. Curse them! They must be going back to attack the Procyon diplomats. Diplomatic fleet spotted. The pirates are not stopping. The pirates must be trying to prevent the peace treaty from being signed. Pirates spotted, sir! to hit the diplomatic fleet. We don't want to restart the war by accident.
Silver's flag. Morph was right. That big pirate ship is John Silver's. I just can't believe he'd lead this attack. Helmsman, plot me an intercept course. I've got to find out what's going on once and for all. Sir, we have to save the Procyon fleet first. Right as usual, Mr. Onyx. Helmsman, belay that order and stay with the proc fleet. Now that the pirates are finished, we can track down Silver's flagship and get some answers. Attention, brave ships of the Royal Navy. Please accept the thanks of all the Procyon people. Um, you're welcome, sir. But we have to track down the pirate command ship immediately, so if you'll excuse us. But what of our continued safety? We are prohibited by the ceasefire agreement from using our own weapons in your territory. Not even to defend ourselves from marauders such as those who destroyed our brave escort. I suppose we could escort you back to Waystation Grant. Would that be acceptable, Mr. Ambassador? Very much so. We are even more indebted to you. Surely, no more cowardly raiders will threaten us while we are guarded by the force that defeated their brothers so utterly. And let me also say that we deeply regret the loss of your Royal Navy brethren. We will remember them in our battle prayers. I suppose that will be a great comfort to their families, Mr. Ambassador. Please form up behind my vessel. Setting a course for Waystation Grant? All ahead, slow. Today was the first time I'd ever met a Procyon face to face. I'd like to say it was a pleasant experience, but I can't. They were nice enough, but there's just something about them. Something predatory. The Ambassador seemed very thankful we arrived in time to save them from the pirates, and he even offered to mention our efforts to the Queen after the treaty signing. Their warriors, on the other hand, never said a word. They just stared down at us. Maybe they aren't allowed to speak. The Procyon ambassador claimed that the ceasefire prevented him from dealing with the pirates himself, but I still don't believe him. 
As we left the Procyon flagship, Mr. Onyx noted their star mortar was uncovered and showed signs of being fired. If they weren't firing on the pirates, then who was that mortar fired at? I don't know what to make of all this yet, but everything we saw and heard was entered into my report to the Admiralty. In the meantime, we've been reassigned to patrol the edges of the Broken Territories, a series of wild and mostly unexplored island chains that form a natural barrier through the middle of the Empire. There's been a large number of civilian disappearances in the region, and the Admiralty has ordered me to explore the islands to look for any trace of them.